Story 39 Silas the Cat Words we know Above Love Other Aboard Mice Voice Touch Enough Wonderful Scared Father Mother Three Sweet Cheese Round Mouse House New Through Matthew Worried Because Carefully Itching Bread Spread Whatever Whenever Whoever New sound Oi, as in coin Special words Cover Raw Mice Trouble Careful Gone Move Quiet Ache Stupid Silas the Cat Once upon a time there were three sweet little mice called Matthew, Matilda and Michelle. They lived in a little mouse house under the floor. Their life was nearly perfect. The only thing to bother them was Silas the Cat. Silas only worried them when they needed to come out of the mouse house to get some food. But they dreaded these times because they knew that Silas would chase them even if they made hardly any noise. One day, all their food was gone. They had to go out and get some. They very quietly lifted the little mouse house door and peeped out into the kitchen. There, just as they feared, was Silas. He was sound asleep under the kitchen table with his head on his paws. On the table they could smell the most yummy cheese. Trust Silas to spoil their plans. But they needed their dinner, so how could they avoid him? Then Matthew spoke. There's no point in waiting for Silas to wake up, he said. He could sleep all day. Even if he wakes up, he might stay in the kitchen. So I know what we can try. I'll creep across the floor as carefully as I can, run up the leg of the table and slip onto the tabletop. If I can do it without Silas waking up, you follow me and join me on the table for a dinner of bread and cheese. This is what they did. They crept across the floor, ran up the leg of the table and slipped onto the top. Silas slept on, his paws covering his ears. All was going well. The cheese was lovely and Silas was even snoring. Then the trouble started. Matilda slipped in a little bit of oil. Her tail sent some coins flying onto the floor. Clink, clink, clink. Silas leapt up roaring. Who's in my kitchen? Who's in my kitchen? Matthew, Matilda and Michelle were terrified. 
they knew that the slightest movement would mean death. Matthew wanted to sneeze, but he knew that the moment he did, Silas would get them. It was terrible. Michelle had an itching tummy. She was desperate to scratch it, but she knew that if she did, she would spoil everything. Matilda had her foot up on the cheese plate. Her legs began to ache terribly, but she knew that any move could mean death. What could they do? Just when they had nearly given up hope, an unexpected but welcome voice called, Silas, Silas, come and have a can of kitty cat. It was Silas's mistress calling him for dinner. Now Silas didn't know what to do. He loved Kitty Cat, but he wanted to catch whoever was in his kitchen. Then he thought of an idea. He'd go and have his Kitty Cat, and then come back and catch whoever it was. But Matthew, Matilda and Michelle were not that stupid. As soon as Silas left the room, they ran down the leg of the table, raced across the kitchen floor, leapt through the door of their mouse house, and banged it after them. That night, they were hungry, but they all agreed, it's better to be hungry than to be Silas's dinner. They joined hands and sang a noisy song just to annoy Silas. Next day, the mice found a new way into the kitchen. Now they could collect their dinner without Silas seeing them. Words we've used. Cover. Above. Love. Raw. Board. Trouble. Mice. Nice. Careful. Gone. Love. Quiet. Ache. Stupid. Caught. Some new words. Boil. Soil. Join. Point. Noisy. Moist. Avoid. Spoil. Joint.